Addressing a media briefing, the Sri Lanka Pudujana Perumuna stated that it will form a new alliance tomorrow. We have several horses who can win this race. Mahind Raj Paksa will consider them and on the 11th of August will announce our candidate who has the highest chance of victory. We must clearly state that members of our party have reservations about this decision as they fear that they will have to work with a leader that they do not respect. We clearly state that this wouldn't happen again. We must be clear that we only agreed to join the alliance but we haven't agreed to support a candidate from a different party. Tomorrow we hope to sign this alliance agreement with the fellow parties. The SLFP is not yet included in the agreement but according to the discussions carried out if they could agree with the terms and conditions set by us and if we are able to comply with theirs there is a possibility that such an agreement will be signed with the SLFP too. It could be true because MP Velgama clearly states that he refuses to work if Gotabe Rajapaksa is named as a presidential candidate. If Gotabe Rajapaksa is named as a presidential candidate on the 11th, he will have to find someone else to work for. He said there are five of them and that he will reveal who they are. We know that out of the five, only one will run. That is MP Velgama. He is a very good person. If he is named as the presidential candidate, we will have to work for him. SLFP parliamentarians SP Disan Nayaka and Dilan Pereira provided their opinions on forming a party. As SLFP members, we hope the environment will be created for the SLFP and the Potujanu Perumuna to sign an agreement as soon as possible. As the deputy chairman of the SLFP, I am aware that some two-faced people will jump into our party and will try to brainwash the president. These two-faced people cannot be corrected and I am sure they will ruin this party. I see that some of them are working for the SLFP in the political agenda of the time when Sajid Premadasa could not be the UNP leader against Ranil Vikrama Singer since he was a UNP leader. We already have 50% and we need one more. The only chance for them to get more than 50% is to take from the SLFP basket. A butter cake is not sufficient. We need to make an icing cake. The only party which can make a butter cake is the Podhujanu Perumuna. We need to accept it. SLFP has to do the icing part in the presidential election that should be understood by the Podhujanu Perumuna as well. If someone thinks that they can win the presidential elections by the Sinhalese Buddhist votes, they can win if they get 68 out of the 75. That has not happened to anyone yet. Even after ending the war and uniting the country, Mahindra Rajpaksa only got 60% of the votes. Therefore, we would like to point out the votes from the minority leftists. The estate votes, Douglas Devananda and Ataullah's votes are decisive. Douglas Devananda lagi Ataullah lagi chanda itam tirnat makai kena karne mama mutmalat kian nak kena. However, General Secretary of the United People's Freedom Alliance, Mahinda Amaravira, shared a different view. A proposal was presented in the Central Working Committee. The chairman of the election commission has already passed the issues pertaining to the presidential council election to the president. The request was made to present this to the Supreme Court. Similarly, there have been numerous views about postponing elections in the country. So the proposal was brought to the Central Working Committee and Chief Minister Chamara Sampath said that he is ready to dissolve the provincial council if necessary. Minister Nimal Siripal approved the proposal and the Central Working Committee unanimously approved it. Because of that, the proposal is handed over to the President to get ready for an immediate Provincial Council election by consulting the Supreme Court.